and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the mini today, and as you can see right here, and I've had loads and loads and loads of mails about this. You guys have been contacting me a lot about this one. Frying fish. It seems like a lot of people are scared to do it for some reason. Um, it's really quite simple. Today we're going to be using a sea bass. This technique applies to any fish. So you could be using tilapia, haddock, cod, whatever you want, milk fish, anything. We're simply going to get our fish. We're going to put a nice seasoned flour on it. Simply fry it. It's done. Delicious. Let's go and do it. Okay, well, let's first of all take a look at our fish. Now, I'm using sea bass here today. You can be using any type of fish you want, a tilapia, a cod. It doesn't really matter. Now, what I've done is I've got a couple of pieces here. I'm just going to cook one of them today now. Skin side, obviously, there. The bones have been taken out. There will still be some pin bones in this one, but no worry. What you can do is you can get your fishmonger to do this for you if you want. I mean, I actually had a whole fish and I cut the bones out. But a little bit of a different story, that one. Really so simple. All we're going to do is we're going to get some nice seasoned flour just to go on it. And we're simply going to fry it really, really easy. So I've got here some flour. You can use corn flour, wheat flour, any flour you want. And then the seasoning is entirely up to you. I've got equal parts, like sort of that, that size spoon, of turmeric, celery salt, garlic powder, touch of regular salt, black pepper, and then I'm using some paprika there. But again, you can just, you know, play around with these as you wish. We just need to, you know, you can just do salt and pepper if you want. All we're going to do is kind of mix this together so we've got a nice seasoned flour. And once this is mixed, we're just going to get our fish both sides on there and then straight over to the cooker. Couldn't be more simple. Okay, let's take our fish. Doesn't matter which side you do first. You see that we've got a nice kind of coat in there. Just make sure you get the ends. I mean, you could be doing this with some salmon, cod, haddock, tilapia, milk fish. Like I say today, I'm using sea bass. So all that is, we're just gonna shake it off a little bit. We've got a nice little kind of dusted seasoned fish. And that is ready for the cooker. So you're obviously gonna need a pan, like a frying pan or skillet that holds the size of the fish that you're using. I think this just about works. Now I've got some oil in there. I've got like, you know, quarter of a centimeter there. You could be using way less oil if you wanted, just a touch, or loads more. You could be actually deep frying this if you, you felt like it. But, you know, I'm gonna go this way today. But you're gonna need, you know, one of these type guys, because we're gonna need to flip it over at some point. So you need something to turn your fish over. That's warming up nicely. Now, I wanna get it in, into the oil, but before it gets you know, too, too hot. And what I do like to do, and if you are using a fish that has a skin, let's do skin side down, so, in she goes there. Skin side down first. Now, depending on the size of the fish, look at that, it's shrinking right up there immediately. It's folding in. What you wanna do is, don't, move your fish around a lot. What happens is, is people kind of, it gets a little bit stuck sometimes and people sort of get in there and dig it and it will break and you know, just be a disaster. Just leave it and it actually will release itself, believe it or not. Just leave it alone and it'll be fine. I mean, you can give it a little wiggle. And this is doing great anyway. But yeah, if it was stuck, a couple of minutes it would actually release itself. So I'm gonna do this fish for about, I don't know, four minutes on each side. We'll take a look in a moment. It's 
So you can see that our fish is now, I've just turned the heat off by the way, it's beautifully golden brown. And I said, I've been moving it around a little bit. And as this one buckled, you know, because of the skin, it kind of folded up at the beginning. I've needed to kind of flip it a little bit on its side, different sides, you know, so it gets all covered. A bit like that. Okay, let me get this out and then I'll show it you on the plate. Okay, there you go. Just really beautiful, so simple. Let's get some lemon juice on that. Just a bit of squeeze. Lemon or lime always works really well. So, so easy. Really beautiful, simple fried fish. Hope that's helped. Loads of emails about this type of one. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?